Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see one more frequently asked Spark interview questions. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Shuffling means redistributing the data across the partitions, means copying the data across executors which makes the shuffle a complex and costly operation. So if you see the diagram here, let's say we have a file dot, file1.txt which has some text in it and when you send this to the driver for counting the number of words in this file, it will, this driver will assign this task to the other worker nodes which in turn this same file will be uh, distributed across these worker nodes and to the, to the executors and to the different partitions. Here just for the diagram sake I have written four okay uh, four node cluster. Let, let's imagine this is a four node cluster and this file is being splitted into four different partitions. So in this file if this file has some 20 lines then uh, five lines to five lines will be split between these four four uh, partitions which means that each partition will have five files five lines but it will not be like that okay it will be like based on the uh, memory of the partitions it cannot be like exactly five lines and we cannot say like that okay so it will the file the a single file will be split across the partitions and each partition inside each partition it will calculate the uh, like number of number of words uh, like a count of the words like example uh, how many times uh, this apache is repeated how many times this spark is repeated how many times is is repeated how many times a is repeated it will count and keep it then finally it will collate the details because in the five first five lines it will take the second five lines it will take third five lines it will this uh, uh, partition will have last five lines this partition will have right so each partition will do the internal calculation first and then these results will be collated at the end and then sent back to the driver so here if uh, for example if you use reduce by key that is what is happening like internally first it will calculate inside each partition then finally one last time the uh, like a collating of the results will happen because first in the first five lines spark will be there in five times in the second partition maybe spark would have come in some seven times then finally the five plus seven it should do right so that reduce operation will be done at, at, at the last uh, stage and it will be sent back to the driver but if you use group by or something it will not happen in the partition wise and it will uh, count for each word in each partition so that's when this um, con contacting to the other worker nodes or other partitions uh, the the traffic will be more because of that kind of operations which increase the shuffle between the data shuffle between the partition and which will create the problem uh, with respect to the performance of the spark job so that's why we we have some uh, like a mechanism to say which one to use like if it is a join then you have to use these kind of uh, techniques if you are using some counting or aggregations then you have to use some kind of functions that we say right that is because internally that will have functionality to reduce the shuffle operations while calculating the uh, computation I mean, while doing the computations so this is what is the shuffle so usually shuff shuffle operations that uh, we see are uh, repartition collase and all the by key operations and uh, i have discussed about each by key operations in the previous videos if you wanted to learn separately about reduce by key group by key sort by key aggregate by key etc you can go through the previous videos okay and uh, uh, co-group join so all these are called as shuffle operations that is because each partition the data will be partitions and these operations will be based on the results from other machines so i mean um, it has to contact the other machine to get the collated details 
that is when this shuffle is the problem and this why this uh, shuffle is costly operation because it involves the disk io operations okay because it sends the intermediate results to the disk sometimes so during the shuffle operations par generates map tasks to organize the data and reduce tasks to aggregate it so during these computations a single task will be performed in a single partition to organize all the data from all the partitions spark need to find all the values for the keys bringing all of them together across the partitions to compute the final result for each key that's when we use all these by key operations right so for each key it will compute the final result by collating the details from across all the partitions then it will the result will be sent back to the driver so this entire operation is called shuffle in spark so due to the data shuffle uh, between the disk and the executor the performance will be impacted that we just discussed so now we will see what things we can take care for reducing the shuffle in order to improve the spark job performance so we will, these are the like i have listed down a few but there are many okay By, while working in the spark jobs you can understand how can we reduce the shuffle so uh, use the reduce by key instead of group by key we just discussed right reduce by key it will internally first perform the task then finally it will perform the reduce operation and then sends the results result back but whereas in group by key it checks in all the other worker nodes uh, for grouping the data and multiple times it will contact the other uh, executors because of this the traffic network traffic will be more and more of network bandwidth is required and because of that group by key is a um, like costly operation when compared to the reduce by key okay and and also in the reduce by key operation right internally when you see the code of reduce by key operation in the scala i mean uh, you know right uh, spark is written in scala and uh, you just uh, click you ca you can actually see the code of the reduce by key operation it uh, generates a new rdd where all the values for a single key combined into the tuple and then based on the key reduce operation will be performed across the partitions that the code also we can actually see in the reduce by key function okay and uh, second thing is uh, broadcast the small table uh, this we have discussed many times so broadcast means it will uh, make a copy in each partition copy of the small table in each partition uh, so that uh, see here inside this partition inside this one it will make a copy right so uh, this shuffle will not happen so internally this join will happen with the broadcasting broadcasted cache table and then um it will perform the join and finally collated results will be joined finally so that's why we have to use the broadcast the small tables and use the map partitions instead of map so map actually one way it is better because it's a narrow transformations and it performs the things inside the inside a single stage but if you see if you are performing it's very important what kind of operations we are performing through map so map means applying some function to each element in the rdd whereas map partition means it per, it applies the functionality for each partition wise so for example if you have something like connecting to hbase or something to be performed again and again right so instead of performing that kind of uh, complex operations in the element wise try to perform that in the partition level which will helps in Uh, reducing the shuffle and also improving the spark job performance and if you need to join multiple big tables then try to filter out the unnecessary details first and then only you join okay and then avoid uh, selecting the column and uh, uh, the entire table simply select star from the table and all, then try to select whichever columns are necessary that will be uh, like uh, it will reduce the shuffle and also it will improve the spark job performance and use the predicate uh, push down for hive data this filters only the data which is required for the computation at high level and it also extracts the small amount of data and if you have uh, some you have to select some data from a hive table and you are doing some joins of two hive table right then while selecting the table you use the cluster by key like select star from uh, table 1 cluster by 
and use this join key and similarly you select star from the table 2 cluster by the second join key and then perform the join it will uh, surely improve the uh, performance okay and it will uh, i mean there will be less shuffle that in turn will give the better performance and rearrange the number of partitions while processing the data so by default we can do 200 we will have 200 uh, repartition count right so for any small amount of uh, data 200 is more so try to reduce it and you can reduce it using repartition function and uh, transformation so if you have more data then you can increase it you just check the amount of data that you are processing and then based on that you take the repartition count and you can set it programmatically as well as in the through spark submit command as well and uh, try to use the narrow transformations why means narrow transformations like map filter union right these all will be done in uh, the processing will be done in a single stage stage here means you will clearly understand when you run a spark job you go to dag and uh, see the stages there so all the narrow transformations will be done in a single stage which will not have shuffle so by that way we can improve the performance and also minimize the shuffle operations and let's say if you have more shuffles then save the data as bucketed tables okay sorry this will write the data to the already pre-hash partition so this will help in reducing the shuffles so you can try all these things and uh, these points are mainly mentioned for for the spark interview questions okay so when someone asks you about shuffle and how can we minimize it this information is uh, you can provide this information this this is enough for the interviews okay thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you